What's going on guys? Welcome back to another hunting boot camp. And I know what you're thinking. The answer is yes, we have these curtains in every hotel in Nebraska. We love our corn here, but just kidding. No, I'm actually at a work training in Lincoln, Nebraska in this unique hotel room. You know, kind of looks like the 80s back here, but uh, figured I'd do another hunting boot camp here right before we get ready for duck season. You know, we're, we're only a week away out here in Nebraska, so, um, you know, we're ready to get back out in the marsh. Had a pretty good teal season, um, but I figured I'd share with you guys the top apps for waterfowlers. Now, so the number one app that I would recommend, and I'm sure most of you have probably heard of it if, if you don't have it already, and that would be the Onyx Hunt app. It's it's a satellite imagery app. It's pretty straightforward. So you know you just you can drive around. You can look at uh, satellite imagery, obviously. So you can find out who owns which partial of land. It'll show you their name. It'll show their you their address. So you could go and um, talk to them in person if you wanted to hunt that, or maybe if you know if they they live far away, you can at least find their name out and then give them a call and ask them for permission to hunt. It'll also show you the imagery for your public land so you can do your online scouting on it as well. You can do so much with it and I'm not gonna go too in depth on these apps. This is more just a broad overview for you guys. But you can do like for Onyx, you know, you can do, uh, you can set waypoints if you know you like a spot. You can measure distance and stuff. There's just so much you can do. So if you haven't already, go check out Onyx apps. It is a paid service, but you get a free week trial. So go give it a try if you haven't already. The next app I wanna to talk to you guys about is the Ducks Unlimited app. And this is a very useful app, especially for waterfowlers, because it has a whole bunch of different tools. So it has different tabs on it. You can go into the app and you can go, there's one where it'll take you to the Ducks Unlimited website and you can read articles about hunting or recipes or whatever else you want to. There's a journal so you can log hunts. There's a bird ID section so you can go and you can uh, you can listen to the calls. It kind of shows you kind of the ranges for breeding and migration, you know, kind of how what each species does in terms of like their flyways and where they're most common at. Uh, just really general bird ID stuff like that kind of gives you a little description too. The reason I really like this app is for the migration report. I'm always checking this migration report. Um, you know, people, you just log into DU with an email address and then you update people based on your location about what you're seeing, you know, and it breaks it out into like increasing numbers, migration is starting, migration is here, declining numbers, stuff like that. It's kind of a good way to get an idea of where the migration is, you know, if it's coming or if it's already passed you by, it kind of just gives you a better idea other than, you know, just physically going out and scouting. And that's really what I like about it. Um, and it seems like most of the guys on there are fairly truthful. There's some, you know, I'm sure they've been in the truth trying to get people away from hunting their region or whatever. But for the most part, most guys are pretty truthful on there. Also another good feature about this app is it has a snow cover map. And I really like that because I can check out, you know, where the snow cover is and as it progresses throughout the fall and winter, and you know, that snow is gonna push those birds down because it's gonna cover up their food source. So you can get, even if, you know, even if people aren't posting about the migration, you can get a somewhat good idea, you know, based on the snow cover reports and other precipitation reports, where these birds are going to be, you know, when they're gonna be coming or if they're gonna be on their way fairly shortly. The next app I'm gonna talk about, and I just learned about it a couple months ago, is the Duck ID app. And this is a little bit more in depth than the DU app. It has about 10 to 15 pictures of each species throughout their life cycle. So, you know, they'll have some in Eclipse, they'll have juvenile, adult, Hen, Drake, all that good stuff. So it's a good it's a good visual learning tool, but also has huge just all the information you would ever need on that bird. Breeding, habitat, migration, anything. It has the only thing it's lacking, this is the only downfall of this app in my opinion, is it does not have bird sounds, but I'm sure that is probably coming. I'm sure the developer is probably working on that. But that's the only that's the only downfall to this app right now. But like I just said, the DU app does have that. So you can kind of use these two apps in interchangeably and should be able to know everything you need to know about bird ID. But this app is also really fun because it has little quizzes that help test your knowledge as well. So you can go in there, you can read up on these birds, you know, like kind of kind of read up on divers or dabblers or whatever you want to do. And it has like those specific tests. So it has like sea duck specific tests, dabbler specific tests, 
diver specific test and you can uh, kind of test your knowledge and earn like little medals and stuff um, it's just just kind of a good way to brush up on your duck ID your bird ID before the season starts so the fourth app I want to talk to you guys about and it's not one specific app in particular it's just a weather app in general so there's so many of these out there you know there's National Weather Service Weather Channel weather bug AccuWeather the list goes on and on it's just a weather app you know if you're duck hunting or goose hunting or waterfowl hunting you know it's highly dependent on weather you gotta know which way the winds coming from you gotta know um, cold fronts warm fronts what the precip looks like if it's gonna be cloudy or sunny all that stuff goes into account for you know how you set up how how the birds are gonna work that day I like the National Weather Service app in particular it's more specific it seems to be more real-time they're the people that come out with the forecasts and stuff so that's that's my preference you know it, it breaks it down it shows me a moon phase it shows me sunrise sunset times um, and everything else that it, you know another weather app would do so having a weather app just one it doesn't really matter which one in particular but have a weather app on your phone it's a must for any waterfowl hunter so the final well, it's not really an app, it's more of a website. It's Freelance Hunt Stats. It's run by Elliot of Freelance Duck Hunting. It works great on mobile and desktop, so while it's not an app, you can pull it up on your phone and it works really good on it. And as you guys may or may not know, you know, I've been keeping a duck journal for the last six or seven years and I'm slowly in the process of transferring all those hunts over in addition to the ones uh, that I already have from this season. So you can log a lot of different information from your hunts onto this website so like the date location weather wind direction birds you shot at birds you bag birds you lost shot percentage if you want to know that and then it'll break it down and it'll show you those stats so there's a there is a free version of it and that's just basic information you can go back and log it look at all your hunts if you want the advanced statistical breakdown of stuff it is a monthly subscription it's not too much though guys I don't know off the top of my head how much it is but go check that out as well but that's all I have for you guys today thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave me a thumbs up down below that really helps us out with YouTube drop a comment let me know what your guys thoughts were I love hearing from you guys maybe I missed an app let me know down below subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay up to date with our latest hunting and fishing exploits once again thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you out there guys See ya.